Yo, it's me, it's Normal Woolen. Welcome, hello back. Wait, hello, welcome back. We're going to be playing some Sniper today. I haven't been playing him too much lately, so I thought it'd be fun to continue the variety. Whoa, yeah, we love variety. Speaking of variety, we're going to be playing completely stock Sniper. Hooray! I'll find a pub and I will meet you in it and play Sniper. Woohoo! Ah, oh, alright, sweet. We get to start off on half a round of Badwater. I hope you don't mind. I do. Badwater genuinely is my favourite map, so. I apologise that it's literally every video is of just bad water, but that's perfectly fine, because it's the best map. But anyway, hello, welcome back. We're going to be playing some nice sniper today, got our nice little medal on, and we'll be having a little chat and a little conversation about this class, because that is what we do here. First things first, obviously, don't want to die to a pirate, so we're just going to wait back a little bit. I don't play too much sniper, despite what you might think. I've been playing him more lately. Uh, just because, you know, the whole ambassador thing. Just because he's gives me something to do at long range when I'm feeling a bit bored. But I might be a little out of touch. I haven't really played him in, like, a couple of weeks. So, you'll have to give me a couple of minutes to get used to what I'm doing again. But basically what I'm doing at the start here is feeling out the area. Normal thing to do. I don't normally just like to run straight out of the area. If you stay out of the spawn, I was going to say straight out of the area. That wouldn't make any sense. I think it's a bad idea just to walk straight out of the spawn. Just because if there... I just think I just sort of spy. If there is a boy there in blue, he'll just instantly die. Especially if there's a sniper who's just charged a full body shot and is just waiting for you. Was there not a spy? Okay, maybe not. I think it's better just to wait. Wait for your teammates to die, basically. Or abuse the high five taunt and look around the corner. Um, and then take a different path. This is a path that some, sni um, some like, prem snipers like to use, because people don't expect this. Normally you go into the bottom left spawn there. So, going up to this little rock here especially, is a favourite of many a prem sniper. It gives you a humongous sightline down to the spawn. Their team's not going to kill you unless a spy backstabs you. And it basically just gives you this, probably one of the longest sightlines in the game that you're likely to see, because it's a popular map. And you just sit here and body shot people over and over again. You don't even need to charge, you don't even need to go for headshots at this range. Just charge a body shot, wait for the heavy to show up and kill him. But yeah, big old first tip of the day basically is this rock. Always try to find a strange old spot if you have difficulty with sniper. Like, you don't have to hit a million headshots. If you just abuse positioning, you can normally get a bunch of kills that people don't expect. Like, charge mechanic is a thing. The game's intended to be played like this way. You're meant to be able to just sit miles away, charge a full headshot, and not worry about having to, um, actually aim. Unfortunately, like, Sniper is probably at its- oh, the fact that it's like a- he just spawned another heavy. He is, like, the strongest class in the game on paper, but that's purely on paper. Very few people are actually good enough to, you know, have a Sniper be just directly better than a Scout. There's been some people, obviously, you know, Max, Jake, Boar, Siny, all these people that are very, very good, and Cake. We love Cake. We are friends with Cake. Uh, who are, like, incredibly good at sniper. But in sixes, people don't tend to run main sniper on most maps. A, because it's kind of BM. It's not that fun to play against in sixes. If you just run across the map and just instantly die to a body shot, it's basically just bullshitting. But the other thing is it's also easier to play scout. You have mobility, you have HP, you have all the good stuff that you need. You can't really push with sniper as well. It's basically just you're going to sit and hold that choke for 50 years. So as we're going to see here is it's kind of hard to push a sniper. Fortunately, there's no one waiting in the choke, so we can sit down here and abuse sightlines. So here you go. Second tip of the day. Have your dot on a wall. It doesn't matter so much in pubs, but if you're playing in like Highlander or sixes, especially in sixes, if they don't know there's a sniper yet, you want to hide your dot so they don't know there's a sniper. And it basically just means that you get a free pick because if people see that sniper dot on the wall, they're likely to be like, oh shit, what's up, etc. And you don't want them. You don't want them to be like, oh shit, what's up? You want them to instantly walk into your sightline and die without knowing there's a sniper there. Because, as I said at the start, if you use stupid positioning, you can get a bunch of stupid kills. And the tip to having stupid positioning is to not let people know you're there. So hiding your dot is the one tip of the day. You see how I'm using just random parts of the wall? The heavy might have turned around and seen the dot on the wall. And instead, he basically peeked to try and kill the demo man. I don't know if he did see me. I'm hoping he didn't. I also think he had a medic. So I'm just going to be a little careful. He's going to jump me. I want to try and get an air headshot. I am a little rusty, so my aim's going to be a little crap. Uh, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But that'll be alright. Because it doesn't really matter, really, does it? We're going we're to run around and probably crit someone with a pan and say hoo-hoo. And that's really all you're here for. It's all fine as well if people want to stand perfectly still like that heavy, though. Also, you'll see I don't really like hard scoping too much. I quite like peeking, doing a quick headshot, and then running away. I feel like if I stand in this window and charge, I'll die to a sniper. Speaking of snipers, is one going to try and come up and chase me? Yeah, he is. I'm gonna die then. To the 30 people came to chase me. Okay. Use your brain, by the way. I saw that sniper was gonna come and chase me, so I was waiting for him. And he showed up, unfortunately, at the same time as, like, eight different players. What I wanted to do with that pyro as well. Big old, big old, big old tip. Big old tip for classes like pyro demo soldier. Who have 100... Oh, sorry, have over 150. Is that spy? See that? I have over 150. 
I quite like doing a normal body shot first and then going for a headshot. So had that Pyro have chased us up the corridor, that body shot was free. It was a free body shot. Had he have chased us up the corridor, we could have quick, quick scope headshot him. Whereas had we not have done that body shot, we would have had to do a headshot and then immediately a body shot while he's in our face. And I don't know about you, if I can get free damage, I'll take it wherever I can. Please don't backstab me. Thank you. This is like a very popular spot as well. This guy's trying to take our spot, which is a bit mean, so I guess you can just die to that soldier for me. Yeah. Also, not very good to play sniper on offense, just in, in, in general. It's kind of hard to do anything, especially when there's all these soldiers. Normally, I'd switch to, like, any other class. The Jurati is insanely good, by the way. If you ever want to elongate your Jurati, just give it a little, a little whoop. There you go. Normal thing to do, but yeah. If you want a new secondary to use, like if you don't like the fact that the Razorback doesn't let you get a buff, Jurati is probably one of the strongest weapons of the game. Jurati and the Milk, just because they're free buffs you get for doing nothing at all. That spy's dead ringer, didn't he? Like I saw his little health glow after him, so I thought I'd give him a little thing. I think he's dead ringered up there. I heard a sound effect in the distance, but I don't know where from. Whoosh! No? Okay. This is a good thing to do to try and catch out dead ringer spies, is just to like kind of stand still. And then instantly turn around. What are you doing? It's like, it's that boy. It's that boy in blue, definitely. But anyway, yeah. The Jurati and the Mad Milk are literally just free buffs for the sake of just holding on item. And that makes it very good. We're about to die to a Pyro, aren't we? So we're going to have to charge a shot and hope he runs in a straight line and holds down his left click. Okay, that works. You know what? We're going to do a very, very cruel thing for the enemy team and use the broken weapon. This is the Huntsman. I don't like the Huntsman too much. And neither does Cake. Cake doesn't like the Huntsman. But basically... Being able to turn a corner and do, like, 360 damage is broken as hell. Like, there's- there's- the downside of the Huntsman is that it's not the sniper rifle, but if you're playing on offense as sniper, and there's all of these explosive classes, I could just sit at the back and charge body shots over and over, and hope that they don't, um... Do they just Uber? Okay, you can Uber on one Pyro, that's fine. It's- it just gets really boring, I think, playing normal sniper on offense, because it is just a lot of waiting or quick scoping and instantly dying. At least if I use the Huntsman, I can, like, shoot at that guy, and hope he, like, doesn't move slightly. He is countering me with his slight movements, so I'm not entirely sure to do about it. Not, not sure what to do about it, my English. Don't backstab me. I've got the Huntsman. What are you going to do, Dead Ringer Spy? Come here. Walk slightly in- Okay, Pyro, you can deal with him, right? Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like playing Sniper on offense too much. It's nice when you've got a teammate to help you, but otherwise it's just a ball fest. Jesus almighty. There you go. See that heavy? There was- Bollocks all he could do, and all I did to get that damage, 360 damage, you know, three and a half rockets, was to charge for half a second, and then let go. Like, there's no aim involved, there's no... There's nothing involved in getting the damage, basically, you just get it. The downside, I guess, is that you have low HP, but, like, for the input, it's broken as hell. I don't like it. I like the sniper rifle because it's fun. If you get a headshot, it's quite satisfying to do, and if you kill a guy with a body shot and he gets annoyed in chat, it's like, kind of interesting. Because, to be honest, it's a mechanic. Anyway, yeah, like that that boy back there in blue, what on earth could he have done? There was nothing he could have done about it. He just turned a corner and died to a huntsman. I didn't even see him, and I killed him with 360 damage headshot. Like, I don't like that. I don't like random spam. One of the reasons, one of the other reasons I don't really play demo. But the fact that I could just randomly spam a corner and instantly kill anyone just by them not knowing I was there seems a bit funky. Instead, we're going to hope that soldier only uses splash damage. And we can just run at him with our melee. Hooray! It worked. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to be doing probably a lot of cutting this episode because, to be honest, it gets kind of boring on offense. But look, what we're going to do is we're going to just spam the shit out of that engineer. Two body shot, two fully charged huntsman arrows, by the way, takes out a sentry, which I think is broken as hell. Like, I don't know what Valve decided would warrant a sniper being able to two shot a sentry in like a second, but yeah, I actually think it's probably better than the direct hit sometimes. Um, because the direct hit involves you having to aim at other players when it comes to using it. And the Huntsman does the same thing versus sentries, but for free, basically. Like, I, I, I'm fine with the Huntsman not being the sniper rifle, but the fact that it takes, like, no time at all to charge is what annoys me. Like, the stock sniper takes, you know, like, three, four seconds or something to charge. This thing does not. And I understand it's meant to keep you mobile, but... I don't know, like, what was- what could that heavy have possibly done? He could have crouched, I guess. And he should have. But, like, these people are just... falling in- they're walking in a straight line into my arrows, and I feel bad. I want to go back to using the fun weapon, but... They won't, because our team won't count. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This episode started to turn into Woolen Talks About the Huntsman for 25 minutes. Which is alright, to be honest. I guess there is the downside of, like, if I want to get up into that heavy's face to make it a bit easier to hit the arrow, he is, will probably maul me to death. But the fact that you can do all of that damage from miles away means that if I don't die to this pyro when I peek, 
The Pyro had more than 226 HP, excuse me. They have they have medics on their team. Our team's currently being spawn camped by like the entire red team. I don't know what we've done to deserve this. But I can't switch classes because that would defeat the entire purpose of the video. Normally I'd go like, you know, soldier or demo or something and try and do lots of damage. But instead we're gonna have to stick to our roots. Maybe we can like use like the orb or something and try and kill that sniper at least. We can get something done. Maybe. I can't actually see. There's so much bloody spam on the screen. That's one of my least favourite things about Sniper, is when- that's not SMG. Is when there is, like, all of this spam going on. It's kind of hard to do anything at all, really. Like, you can't really see what you're shooting at. You can occasionally leave the spawn, I guess, and spam a little Jurati here or there. But then they've got an Uber. What, what a strange video game. Look, take mini crits. Someone shoot things at him with your- you do damage, Demo Man! Use your grenade launcher and hit him. Look, look, look at all this mini crits and random crits. No? Okay. I'm genuinely just, like, shocked. Just, what, what, what is going on here? Look, like, just poof, a poof, and then you go back and you get the health, and then you go poof, poof, poof. Why am I stuck? Oh god, we can't actually like, exit this. Well, you go poof, 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 and you hold down your right click, and then you spam your left click. Okay, this is not a sniper class. But also, our team's being spawn camped by the entire red team, so I'm gonna have to go one, two, three, and right click, and... Could, could none of you have just done this earlier? Like, <laughs> what on earth video game players? Our team's all just left as well. That's a little mean. I guess I probably should have switched off Sniper sooner, but whatever. We'll find another server. Hello, welcome back. So, we found Snowy Coast. We fortunately moved on from that horrible round of bad water where we were being spawn camped for like a minute and a half times eight. Um, anyway, yeah. That at least showed off Sniper's main weakness incredibly well. So while on paper, you know, the fact that you can do 150 to like 20 billion damage in a second seems so broken. Turns out that means bollocks all on, um, offense. Can we just go down here? Is it safe? Yeah, like, while, you know, a soldier may not do as much damage as a sniper in an instant, the fact that he can just shoot the floor, kill multiple- You just pop the dead ring and run back to spawn, okay. He's probably gonna chase us. It means bollocks all, basically. I've just tried to get a cheeky close range headshot. Turns out we've got a butter knife boy! Thanks for the rescue! Good boy. <laughs> no? I thought we were gonna share a moment. Oh. Yeah, it turns out it means bollocks all on offense. Having the ability to do like 150. Because while you can do 150, A, you have to aim a headshot, B, you have no HP, and C, there's more than one guy to kill. So yeah, we're on offense right now. I wish we were on the other team, but Valve decided that switching teams in pubs is too strong for some reason. Also, for some reason, my ping to this server is a bit, bit funky. Normally, Valve's not normally too bad, but anyway. This brings me on to a topic, by the way. Speaking of internet, Sniper is one... I think it's the best class to play if you have a really high ping. I didn't mean to headshot that spy, but that works. He's the single best class to play on a high ping, I think. The fact that you can peek a corner, do a headshot, and then peek away before they can see you makes it really, really good. There's been many snipers who like to play across, like, America and Europe, like Boar right now. I don't know if he's still playing, but... The seasons he's been playing in Europe, from America, he has, like, 300 ping. But, like, other snipers can't really kill him because he has peeker's advantage at all the time. So if he peeks a corner and then gets the headshot, which he will, he's also like a very, 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 very good sniper. I think probably the best right now, maybe? At least one of the best. Uh, those couple together makes it like really hard to kill, because if he's always going to kill you if he sees you, and the fact that the only way to see him before he sees you is to get the advantage on him, means that killing him on offense is really, really, really difficult. If a sniper's on defense and they have a wall, or they have any advantage at all in terms of like vi visibility, they should mostly win. Just because being able to kill stuff running into you is much easier than killing stuff while you're running into them. I sure do like it how other classes in the game can do snipers' job randomly sometimes. Alright, no worries. Our team's still trying to push. It's, the game's probably going to end like in an instant, isn't it? Like, I'm, I've been trying to server hop to find an actual server, but they're either full of cheaters or, like, five players. But that's fine. We're not exactly doing snipers' job here, considering we were playing on um, offense, but that's alright. We'll try our best. There are people attacking in the wide open trying to- what? Don't kill me. In tracking in the wild, wide open. But, uh, yeah. The whole topic of trying to get um, silly positioning to get easy picks 
it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do on offense. Because a lot of the times, those sneaky flank routes are places that you need to, like, rocket jump to. Or places that, um, once you've been spotted, you basically have, like, no sight line. Like, that spot on the top left only really worked because for some reason their team wasn't looking there. Even though we had, like, engineers and sentries and all sorts. I'm a little miffed about that sniper having an overheal as well. I feel like when you headshot a sniper and he doesn't just die, if you feel a little let down, don't you? Like, you, you've got that headshot. You deserve the kill. The game screwed you over. Also, a little was a bit screwed over by a medic, apparently. That's fine. All right, it looks like our team's probably never going to cap, ever. So, realistically, we should probably change classes, but that's fine. We can just sit at the back and, like, camp kills on people. This is something you can do on defense, I guess. Is you can just run around the backfields <laughs> for a bit and hope people run nearby. It's not that useful for your team because you're basically just farming stats. This is kind of useful, I guess. But we kept taking out snipers bit by bit. Don't... Second scope. That's my job. <laughs> but yeah, look, the moment like one soldier or one pyro appears, you're basically screwed. Like, what what are you meant to do against the splash damage rocket? You have to hit a good headshot and then a body shot. And if he's using the battalions, you're just dead, basically. I don't like... The battalions as sniper is surprisingly annoying. The fact that you can't headshot and body shot. That 20 HP he's got left is very bad. Our team's just going to lose some playing sniper, isn't it? Anyone want to touch the cart? No? Okay, I guess I'll run at it with one second left. That's a little annoying. I'm getting this horrible feeling of deja vu, and I don't know what it could possibly be, but it might be the fact that I've just queued for about half an hour to try to find a server that wasn't Badwater, and it's Snowy Coast. So I don't know what to do about that, but that's fine. We're going to continue. I'm assuming the game's not started yet based on the fact that no one's got points, so I will cut to when the game's actually started. What are you... Oh, that's adorable. Oh, never mind. This is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it was, there's, there was just a boy. There's also four people on the other team without a picture, so that's great. So, we will continue, and we will say, ho oh, oh, ho, use stupid positions to your advantage. This is a best stupid position, because you see, as you can see when I taunt, you can, they can barely see you at all until you've killed them, and once they do, you basically just move slightly, like, over here, and then they get very confused by it. They're like, oh god, he's moving positions. What do I do about it? That's my, that's my strat, is to get a kill and then move position. I do realise we are, like, the 5,000th sniper on this team, but that's alright. This man's trying to take my position. Don't do that. He's he's literally stealing my spot. Go somewhere else, you smelly boy. But you know what? Tip of the day. Let him die. <laughs> it's none of my business if he wants to take my spot and then instantly die. There's nothing really you can do at the start here of Snowy Coast specifically because of this huge grate. Even though you should have a humongous sight line, it doesn't really work until they push the cart up the hill because basically all you can do now is hope that some guy like rocket jumps or there's a pyro you can shoot directly in the weenus. Which is a YouTube-friendly version of the word penis, because you're no longer allowed to say naughty words like that anymore. Or sphincter. But that's fine. We can hopefully hope that that man rocket jumps, maybe? Maybe not. What are you, what are you shooting? You can try- I like doing this sometimes. If you sit inside your friendly snipers, you can see what he's trying to shoot at. Like, you can look at their- okay, look. Oh, good- good stab. Excellent stab. I was gonna wait there and hope that he was gonna try and taunt kill him, but maybe that spy and I are not on the same wavelength. Instead, I'm gonna stand perfectly still. And then listen. He's below. I heard him. I heard him go. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You hear his feet. Play it like Counter Strike, and you can hear footsteps. It gets very spooky. But yeah, look, I'm gonna try and try and bait him out a little bit. If I stand like still, like here, look. Whoosh. Oh, I'm a sniper. I don't. I've never. I've never heard. There he is. He made the decloak sound again. I heard him. He's making strange noises with his invisibility watch. There he is. Standing still. It was quite strange. Maybe he was writing in chat. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, now we can actually do something. Their team's at least started to push the cart, so we can abuse sight lines. This is one of, like, the most annoying sightlines in the game to play against a sniper on. Because there's basically nothing you can do. You're standing on a straight line, so sniping people that are just running left to right is fairly easy. Um, unless you're an idiot and miss, like I am. But, it's kind of hard to counter unless- This is a battalion's backup spot, by the way. If you're pushing that point, run battalions and you will not die to the 80,000 snipers. The snipers will basically do nothing. So I think I mentioned that in the soldier video. Some places where the battalions just lets you counter all the snipers. That's one of the places. If you're on blue team and you are there, Get the battalions. Just the snipers will not kill you, and it means you can push successfully. But yeah, it's kind of hard to counter. As you can see, basically the only counter is to have one guy go invis watch spy, and then use the SMG to find out where he's gone, and then go whoosh, bonk. No, maybe not whoosh, bonk today. I don't know. I quite like doing that. If I see an invisible spy, I like to kind of just shoot in a straight line, roughly where his head should be, and then hope I get him while he's invisible. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it's really cool. No, I'm, I'm hearing- I was a little worried about shooting there because I know there's a sniper on the right there. Just doing a little quick repositioning. Remember, you don't have to take the shot if you zoom in. 
Like, sometimes you feel like once you've right-clicked, there's no point in leaving without a left-click. But really, like, if it's unsafe, like, if you right-click and then you hear a sniper in a mile away miss a shot, just de-scope and run away. Like, there's no point in standing in his sightline forever. Speaking of standing in a sightline, are we gonna die to the guy that was shooting a wall? Oh, I hear a spy. He's down below, isn't he? I think, actually. I'm not actually sure where he is. I don't want to stand too still, though, just because there are snipers now on the other team. And that's the only other thing that's going to come to me, is with that spy. And it's probably more likely that it's that spy who random crits me with his revolver. Or the enemy team showing up and sniping me. And now there are snipers to worry about. I actually have something actively to think, which is cool. It gives me something to do while I'm keeping this constant stream of consciousness going on. Which, by the way, forgive me if my sniping seems a bit crap. Than you compared to usual, it's quite. Even after all of these years of doing commentaries, it's still quite strange to talk while aiming. If any of you have ever tried making a commentary, you'll hopefully know what I mean. But normally, you'll stop talking to try and concentrate, and I'm trying to avoid doing that the best I can to keep the commentary up. But like, if I just shut up for a second, I can probably snipe that sniper. I just can't. It, it, while, I'm, while I'm talking, my brain has too many things going on at once, so I'm just running around quick scoping. <laughs> and hoping it works. Not really the best idea. If you want a genuine tip that may or may not help, something to try, not really a tip to definitely help. Something to try. If you have a lot of difficulty like relaxing on sniper, like you feel like you're just your aim's going everywhere and you're constantly getting really scared, put music on. Try it. Give it a go. It might not help, it might make it worse, but just give it a go. If you've got something else distracting you, like music, and you manage to slip into like a I don't know what the word is, but you basically just like a zen state. That's kind of what you want to reach if you're playing Sniper. If you can get yourself into a nice zen state where you're not really paying attention to the game and it's playing itself, that's really the situation you want to be in. Because it is literally just mechanical aim. There's very little game sense involved in Sniper compared to, like, a medic. If you can just let your body aim for you and ignore all of that... You know, sometimes you worry. You're like, oh god, there's all these things facing me. Oh, I'm missing a guy standing still. Oh, there's so much to worry about. I'm gonna die. I have no HP. Ah! Just shut off all of that. Just, just, just think, you know. Chill, sit down, you know, go, hey. Doesn't matter if I miss, does it? It's a video game. I've respawned, it doesn't matter. There's no real consequences to me. Oh, he's standing still, I missed. Oh, I'm so bad. Ah, uh, no. Do not fret. Sniper is a class that fretting is something you should definitely attempt to avoid at all costs. Like, normally you'll be like, oh god, you know, I should be hitting all these shots on these pyro. How have I missed him? Oh, how have I missed? And then I feel like that's when it goes downhill. If you feel like you're having a bad day on Sniper, I feel like it normally may not start out bad. Like, you start out unwarmed up, and if you feel- if you're doing badly, you feel like it's because you haven't played yet. Once you start missing a bunch, and it adds up, I feel like that's when you start to do badly. Like that pyro, oh, I should have headshot him! He was standing in a straight line, he's such an easy shot. Fretting is simply the worst thing you can do. It's kind of hard to- it's kind of hard to come back from as well. Like, once you've started fretting, you've started to think, oh god, I'm doing so badly. You find it really hard to pick back up normally, really. So, my tip of attempting to listen to music, to just to distract yourself, having too many things going on at once so your brain at least doesn't have to worry, I think it helps prevent you from fretting, because you cannot really fret, I find, I cannot fret, about what's happening in the video game. If I'm listening to some, you know, fiery tunes, like Toto Africa, give it a go. Just give it a go. Let me know what you think if you don't normally do that. But like, I like instrumental personally, because it means that, like, vocals, you tend to concentrate too much on what's going on, but with instrumentals, you know, where there's no voice, no singing, there's a spy here, you just have the beats going on, and your head listens to it, and it doesn't really have to pay attention, because it just kind of goes on. So, yeah. If you want something to listen to, by the way, Emancipator, Ratata, classic, usual kind of stuff that I recommend... Um, if you have a have the, the website 8 Tracks, it's really good. It basically just generates a YouTube playlist, or user-generated playlists of songs via YouTube. And you can just go on there and just type in, like, chill or something, and just sit there and listen. That guy, we just died to a guy on 1 HP, so let's, let's switch off. Let's use the Razorback. Now, I used to use the Razorback all the time, just because it was what literally every other sniper in the world did. And it's really good at removing the only part of game sense sniper really needs, which is spy sense. The Razorback literally just meant that the sniper only ever had to focus on aiming. Like, if you're constantly worrying about spies backstabbing, you're constantly checking around, that's one thing that's distracting your brain from actually aiming. And the Razorback literally just meant that you never had to worry about spies ever. Like, if they shot you, you just died anyway, really. And if they missed the shot, you could just run away and probably survive. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a go now, because we're not getting overhealed, and that literally just means that it's better than the old one. Did we just die to the classic sniper? Oh dear. 
I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we have to keep that in mind. I didn't realize that there were there were people there. I saw like my pyros and my spies there, so I assumed that area was safe. But you know what they say about assuming? It makes an ass out of me and also me. So yeah, I assumed that my teammates were there so it was safe and clearly it wasn't. So I guess I should keep that in mind for the future. On this, at least on this server, if my teammates are somewhere, it probably means that they just didn't see the sniper and they decided not to shoot him. But that's fine. We can get back into action and die instantly to a pyro, perhaps? Maybe not. Thanks for the HP. Boots of money. Let's try and get back into my stupid spot. Hopefully I don't get sniped while I'm doing this, but you do like a little rail climb, into an up smash, into a, th into a grab, into a forward throw, into a neutral air. Oh god, I've got chilly hands. There you go. I think that's probably something good to bring up, by the way, is aiming in the cold, because I did make that like silly little video on it a little while ago, but I do think it's a genuine issue. When you have, like, cold hands, it's quite hard to aim, I personally have always found. And there's not really a solution to it beyond taking two shots of rum. If you feel like you have to get drunk to play sniper, feel free. Be my guest, as long as you're a real adult. I just died twice in a row to the hatless <laughs> classic sniper. That's alright. I'm not going to worry about that. I, I appreciate that. I think the classic is the best weapon of the game, and dying to it is a honour. Are we going to have to play on offence now? We are, aren't we? Oof. That's alright. Now we're playing on offence, we don't really need the Razorback, because if we die to a spy, you know, we're probably going to die to 80 other things. So really, we're probably just going to want to run the normal SMG, aren't we? It means that if a guy runs in our face, we at least don't have to close range headshot them. And with the chilly hands, I feel like having to aim as little as possible is probably the best. I like your hair, by the way. Cha. That's some pretty cool stuff you've got going on there, a little blue. I think I, sh I showed it off in the last game, but even if you are getting points and stuff on offence as sniper, you aren't necessarily helping out your team, you're mostly just boosting your own score. So, I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend playing Sniper on offense if you're trying to win. If you're trying to have fun, go nuts. Do what you want to have fun. But if, you want, if you're getting annoyed that your team isn't winning, just switch to another class. What is wrong with your arm, Pyro? It's like a really straight, wibbly arm. I guess one thing we could do is because aiming is a little bit harder on offense, because you aren't being able to stare down a choke for 80 years to aim for you, you do kind of have to peek and instantly aim. I'm going to run the Machina just in the hopes that I can get a cool collateral, because at least it means I can do something. And it also means I can just go for body shots. I don't even have to worry about aiming for the head. And, as you will know, the Machin is broken as hell. For some reason, they decided that doing a 173 body shot was a good idea for the downside of... Not much, really. Like, the Tracer isn't really that big of a deal, I've always found. It's banned, by the way, just if you were curious. The, the Machina is banned in UGC and allowed in etf to well I believe. Because snipers in Highlander already have really good aim, so just giving them more damage for free is... <laughs> really stupid, basically. Like... Snipers all run the Razorback mostly, or the Jurati. So, you'd think that, you know, the Trace is such a big deal, they normally run it with, like, the SMG or something, just so they have extra damage. Turns out it doesn't mean diddly squat, because if you've killed someone, who cares? Like, there's comms in Highlander, so the fact that there's a Tracer means bugger all. Because once you've killed someone, someone will say, you know, Sniper Cliff, Sniper Choke, whatever. Tracer's nothing. The collateral on the extra damage is huge. If you want the best sniper rifle, it's the Machina. Like, the stock's also really good. I like body shotting, a Pyro, and a Soldier, and all that, as I've said. So the fact that you don't have to scope in is nice, but... The Machina still does that, it just means you have to scope in. If you get used to the fact that you have to scope in to do a body shot... I heard a dead ringer. You get used to it pretty fast. Is that Pyro ice skating? Oh! Little cheeky pretend air headshot. But yeah, we're gonna try it here on this Pyro. We did a, we did headshot him, so we just have to hit a body shot. So if we just... Miss the shot on him, that's fine. <laughs> no frets. Is he running to the health back? That's alright, he died anyway, but yeah, look. Now we're in a good spot for offensive sniper. Our team's pushing, we've got all of this space. This is basically defense, as far as, as we're concerned. Is that actually a Pyro or is that a spy? This confuses me. I don't want to get too close in case he headshots me, but maybe it's a... No, that is a spy. He bumped our teammate. There you go. Watch for this. This is just a general TF2 tip. But you can see when other people get bumped by spies because that player will stop moving for half a second because they bumped them. So I just went for a body shot. If, you, there, if there's a spy at that distance, I wouldn't worry about trying to get a headshot on him because chances are he's probably quite low and a body shot too will kill him anyway. Let's just charge a body shot and kill him with that. It's the easiest way to do it. I could have tried for a headshot, but I'd probably miss. I probably shouldn't have just jumped down that fuck hole really quickly like that, but maybe he's just trying to ice skate. I think he's friendly. Are you alright? Okay. Okay, let's leave that pyro. I kind of want to see what he's doing, actually. Is he just going to sit? No, everyone's gone to go chase him. Are you alright there? Oh, Sonic, he killed the ice skating pyro. I didn't know they added an ice skating taunt. I haven't actually played the new update. Um, they made a Christmas update. But um, I went the I went away like the, like a day or two before it came out. So as a result, I've only really seen like the spy book taunt like once. It looks pretty cool, though. I don't think they added any- they didn't, like, change any weapons or anything new, did they? Within reason. Like, it was mostly just, um... 
It's mostly just cosmetic stuff they pulled off the workshop, basically, wasn't it? What did I do there? I'm trying to be an idiot, basically. I was getting too aggressive. That's something you shouldn't try to do. Like, I was peeking that choke as if I was playing as, like, a strong power class. And I'm not really. Are you a friend? Are you a friend? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Try and make friends where you can. You can sometimes get into the backfields. If I don't shoot my trace, This is the one time a trace would be bad. Is that engineer noticing me? But now I'm back back, back far away. I can just charge a body shot and kill that medic, hopefully. Not even have to bother with a headshot. Like, no one's really going to know I'm here unless that medic's on comms. Or there's people aimbotting. Because it's not like I'm playing spy and they can see my disguise through walls. The only way they check here is if they are very strange. And there's nothing you can really do to plan for really strange people. So yeah, let's just do that. Does that pyro really come back for me? No, he didn't. The pyro's, the pyro's just chasing a spy, I think. That's alright. We can try and get the pyro to chase us, maybe. Do a little body shot in his foot. Oh god, he's probably going to kill us with the, um... The toot, the toot, 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 poot, 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 toot. What's the, what the fuck's that weapon called? The Dragon's Fury? I think it's the Dragon's Fury, isn't it? I get confused between the pyro's flamethrower, the new dragon one, and the, uh... <laughs> we're, god, we're spawn camping now, kinda. I get confused between that and the name of the skin. And I probably shouldn't. I should probably know the difference, but that's all right. Oh, I got the body shot. I was trying to get the close range headshot there, but I was just a bit too low. That's all right. I'm 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 doing the same thing with Sniper right now on offense that I normally do as like a normal class in that I like to go into the backfields and pick people off. Because I feel like it's the easiest way to play. If I was playing within my team, I'm probably going to die because people are going to shoot my team or there's going to be a spy or a soldier or something. Whereas if I just stand in a really stupid place, like miles away behind everyone, People are going to just run mindlessly around the corner, and I'm going to be able to kill them. What the fuck was that? Oh god, he's holding down his left click. Medic, save me from this bad boy. Never mind, I thought we were friends, but that's alright. I probably want to switch off the Machina, actually, now. Um, just purely because... I like. I want to be able to body shot these pyros, basically. I should really just be using the SMG. I equipped it. I've just not been using it. I don't normally... Like, as I've said, Razorback boy. I think the SMG is very good. Because it does mean that you can do a headshot and then finish them off with the SMG, pyros and the such. But I like only using one weapon because it makes it simple. Yeah, I guess I could also deal with scouts a bit better, but that's alright. I normally wear like no proper hats on Sniper, like I just have misks. And it tends to mean that less people shoot you. Like, who are you more likely to shoot? The, the Sniper with a million hats on or the Sniper that's just wearing like a bandana? Most pub players will probably just shoot the hatted guy first. And if it all it takes to not die is to wear different hats. That's something I'm more than willing to do. I'm not the biggest fan of wearing, like, unusuals on Sniper, because I feel like you tend to get seen in places that you're not meant to be, and people tend to focus you as well. And I don't like that. I'm not the world's best Sniper, so if I get focused, I tend to just die without me having a chance to do anything. Oh, Spy? No, that's our Spy, okay. Listen for decloaks as well. I guess the downside of having music on is you can't really listen for decloaks, but to be honest, it's quite nice just to have a bit of fun sometimes. If you're, if you're dying to Spies a bunch, maybe just... Turn the music off for half a second, but look, what we can do here is we've got a nice sight line. Don't stand against the back wall, because that soldier spamming will be able to hit us, but if we stand a little bit forwards... Like, that sniper there, he stood right against the wall and died. If we stand, like, a little bit away, he won't be able to hit us, and we can just stand here and... Is that a, that's a spy. Stand here and spam, I guess. But now we have to kind of stand against the wall anyway, just because of where our team is. Yeah, this isn't really the best position. That's alright. Body shot? Oh, my eyes went for a second there. That's alright. Oh, I body shot the wrong boy. Never mind. Yeah, don't be afraid to body shot. I don't have a headshots part of my sniper rifle because I feel like it prevents me from wanting to do body shots. So if I just have a body, if I just have no parts on it, it makes me more than willing to kill people with body shots. So use that, use that all the time. If you see a group of people and you don't want to headshot them, just hold on your left click in their direction and you might kill them. But anyway, yeah, that will go for today. That was took a lot longer to record than I thought it was. We had to like server skip so much. You, you, you would not understand how long it took me to find a server that wasn't bad water. <laughs> it took so long. Anyway. Thank you for watching very much. I will see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a good evening. Goodbye.